Right now, commercial airlines are rerouting around a 45,000 foot ash column that did not exist yesterday. The Haley Gubby volcano in Ethiopia, silent since the last ice age, just announced its return with the force of 550 million tons of TNT. Local communities felt the ground shake 100 kilometers away. But what seismologists discovered in the aftermath has completely rewritten our understanding of volcanic networks in East Africa. For months, an underground river of molten rock has been flowing from the active Erta Ailey volcano, directly beneath Haley Gubby's dormant chambers. This magma intrusion traveled 18 miles underground before triggering today's eruption. It is the first confirmed evidence that dead volcanoes can be remotely activated by their active neighbors. But here is the terrifying implication. If underground magma networks can resurrect volcanoes that have not erupted in 12,000 years, how many other supposedly extinct mountains are connected to this same system? What happens when the next surge of molten rock finds its way to a volcano sitting beneath a major city? The last time Haley Gubby spoke, human civilization did not exist. 12,000 years ago, as the last ice age was fading into memory, this shield volcano in Ethiopia's Afar Triangle quietly built its symmetrical cone through gentle lava flows and sporadic eruptions. Then, as suddenly as it had awakened, it fell silent. Archaeological evidence shows that as Haley Gubby slipped into dormancy, Early humans in the region were just beginning to experiment with agriculture. The Great Pyramids of Egypt would not appear for another 8,000 years. Rome would not be founded for 11,000. This mountain has been sleeping longer than the entirety of recorded human history. But while Haley Gubi slumbered, the ground beneath it never rested. The Afar Triangle, known to many as the Cradle of Humanity, sits at the turbulent junction of three tectonic plates, African, Arabian and Somali, slowly but inexorably tearing the continent apart. The region averages one major volcanic event every few years, from the continuously fountaining lava lakes of Erta Ale to the explosive episodes of Dabahu and Dalafila. What made Haley Gubby different was its location at the southern end of the Erta Ale range, seemingly isolated from the main artery of volcanic activity. Geologists classified it as extinct, a fossilized relic of ancient geological upheavals. A mountain from a bygone age, its fires forever extinguished. That assumption held until November the 23rd, 2025. A thunderous roar shattered 12 millennia of silence and proved that in the Afar Triangle, no volcano is ever truly dead. Haley Gubby sits at the heart of one of the Earth's most geologically tumultuous regions, the Afar Triangle, where the African continent is literally ripping itself apart. What scientists have discovered through a combination of satellite monitoring and seismic analysis has revealed a game-changing truth about how volcanoes truly operate. Dr. Juliet Biggs, a geophysicist from the University of Bristol, explains the breakthrough. Beginning in July 2025, satellite radar data revealed a pattern of ground deformation indicating that a massive intrusion of magma from Erta Ale had pushed laterally over 18 miles below the surface, passing directly beneath Haley Gubby and beyond. This subterranean magma conduit operating at depths of two kilometers, appears to connect multiple volcanoes through what researchers are calling a perpetual dike system. As the African continent spreads apart at a rate of 20 millimeters per year, molten rock surges in to fill the gaps, creating invisible highways of magma that can extend for dozens of miles. The final trigger came on the morning of November 23rd, when a magnitude 4.7 earthquake ruptured what seismologists describe as a buried dam directly beneath Haley Gubby's long silent crater. Within hours, months of accumulated pressure found its explosive release. The eruption column punched 45,000 feet high, well into commercial airspace, as an immense cloud of sulfur dioxide 
began its atmospheric trek across three continents. Retrospective analysis of ground deformation data revealed that the volcano's surface had risen by several centimetres in the weeks preceding the blast, a subtle but ominous harbinger of the inferno stirring below. Thermal satellite imagery detected plumes of puffy white clouds swirling around the summit, telltale signs of increased gas emissions as the volcano prepared to blow. But because Haley Goodby had no historical record of eruptions, these warning signs were initially overlooked or dismissed as anomalous readings. It was a near fatal oversight that will not be repeated. If this underground magma network does indeed extend beyond Haley Gubby, the implications stretch across the entirety of East Africa's Great Rift system. The Afar Triangle alone contains over 30 potentially active volcanic centres, many of which have been classified as dormant, based on the same assumptions that kept Haley Gubby off the radar until yesterday. The immediate impacts are already staggering. Aviation authorities have issued emergency flight advisories across the Red Sea Corridor, one of the busiest air routes in the world. The towering ash column has forced urgent flight diversions from Dubai to Mumbai, tacking hours onto intercontinental journeys. But that is just the opening salvo. A vast plume of sulphur dioxide is now sweeping across Yemen, Oman and onward toward Pakistan and India. If the eruption continues, acid rain could descend upon agricultural regions that sustain over 100 million people. On the ground, villages near Afdera are already reporting heavy ashfall, blanketing crops and grazing lands. Local administrator Mohammed Seed warns of an impending livestock catastrophe as critical grasslands disappear under a choking layer of volcanic debris. But the deeper concern is what comes next. Seismic stations across the Afar Triangle are lighting up with swarms of earthquakes, ominous hints that the subterranean magma network may be pressurising volcanic systems up and down the rift. If the Dabahu complex reactivates, it could unleash the same catastrophic fissure eruptions that spewed 400 years worth of pent-up lava in a mere two weeks during its last major episode in 2005. The economic shockwaves are difficult to overstate. The Red Sea shipping lane handles 12% of global trade. Extended disruptions from volcanic ash could cripple supply chains accounting for $200 billion in annual commerce. Regional air hubs from Addis Ababa to Cairo face indefinite closures as the ash threat persists. But perhaps most alarming of all is the possibility that this magma network extends to other volcanoes currently deemed extinct, mountains that may be slumbering in dangerous proximity to densely populated areas. Millions of unsuspecting souls could find themselves in the crosshairs of geological forces that have not stirred since before the dawn of agriculture. And if Haley Gubby's sudden resurrection is any indication, the next reawakening may come with little to no warning at all. Haley Gubby's fiery resurgence has shattered long-held assumptions about the very nature of volcanic systems. Mountains, once thought to be isolated and inert, are now revealed to be nodes in a vast subterranean network that can span hundreds of miles. The same hidden rivers of magma that fuel the perennial lava lakes of Erta Ele can at any moment surge through buried channels to rekindle volcanoes that have lain silent since before the rise of human civilization. Dr. Derek Keir, a volcanologist who serendipitously happened to be conducting fieldwork in Ethiopia, when the eruption began, has collected pristine samples of the initial ashfall. Radiometric dating of this material will provide a definitive answer to the critical question. Did this eruption tap a cache of fresh magma from the recent Erta Ele intrusion? Or did it expel a 12,000 year old reservoir that has been lying in wait since the last ice age? The results will determine whether we are witnessing a singular pressure release event or the overture to a sustained and potentially devastating reactivation. But the broader implications of this eruption are nothing short of paradigm shattering. 
For the first time, scientists have conclusive proof of a phenomenon known as teleconnected volcanic triggering. Definitive evidence that eruptions can be sparked remotely through subterranean networks rather than through localized magma accumulation. It is a revelation that renders existing volcanic hazard assessments around the globe effectively obsolete. The East African Rift is a veritable powder keg of volcanic activity, with dozens of dormant or extinct peaks dotting the landscape from Ethiopia to Tanzania. Many of these slumbering giants sit in unnervingly close proximity to major population centres. Nairobi, Addis Ababa and Kampala are sprawling cities that have risen and thrived in the shadows of volcanoes long assumed to be dead. Each one now faces the unsettling reality that their geological neighbours may not be as inert as once believed. As the immense ash cloud from Haley Gubby continues its transcontinental journey, one certainty looms above all others. Our planet's volcanic systems are far more intimately connected than we ever dared to imagine. And if a 12,000 year dormancy can be shattered without warning, no volcano on Earth can ever again be taken for granted. The operative question is no longer if more volcanoes are poised to awaken. It is how many are already stirring unseen, their magma chambers swelling with fresh injections from subterranean networks we are only beginning to comprehend. The terrifying reality is that the next reactivation may already be underway, deep beneath a mountain whose name the world has long forgotten. And when that sleeping giant unleashes its pent-up fury, it may do so with little more than a seismic shudder as warning. In an age of technological hubris and supposed geologic mastery, Haley Gubby serves as a stark reminder of the indomitable and unpredictable power that churns beneath our feet. It is a power that has shaped and reshaped the face of our planet since time immemorial. And it is a power that will continue to do so indifferent to the timetables and assumptions of the human societies that rise and fall in the fleeting epochs between its awakening. The ground has spoken in Ethiopia and its message reverberates like thunder. We are never as far from the fire as we believe. Complacency is a luxury the earth has never promised us. Vigilance is now our only option because the next sleeping giant to awaken may not be content to rumble in the wilderness. It may be resting directly beneath our largest cities, biding its time, awaiting that telltale seismic tremor that signals the start of its inexorable return. The ash cloud on our horizon may be the first of many to come. The only question that remains is whether we'll have the wisdom to heed its warning and the courage to confront the stark geological reality it represents. A reality in which no volcano is an island and no civilization is ever truly safe from the restless giants that slumber beneath us. The seismic shockwaves from Haley Gubby are only the beginning. A 12,000 year dormancy has been shattered and the very nature of volcanic risk across East Africa must now be reassessed. But this geological wake-up call extends far beyond Ethiopia's borders. It is a global warning that our planet's volcanoes are more interconnected and more unpredictable than we ever imagined. The time to act is now, before more sleeping giants reawaken. Subscribe to Earth Attacks now and stay at the forefront of urgent information that could determine life or death.